here with Jeannie Dedlow and Jordan Beasley for your WJOB News Update. The Marine Reservist whose behavior prompted a security scare last week at the Pentagon has now been charged in a series of shootings at military buildings in the Washington area last year. Prosecutors have charged Jonathan Malaku in the five shootings in which no one was hurt. When he was detained last week, court papers say he was carrying spent shell casings and a notebook containing refer references to the Taliban and Osama bin Laden. House Republicans are pulling out of negoci negotiations being led by Vice President Joe Biden on the budget. They say it's because Democrats insist on linking spending cuts with at least some tax increases. House M Majority Leader Eric Cantor says it's time for President Barack Obama to weigh in directly. Cantor says the Republican-controlled House won't support tax increases. Indiana plans to begin drug testing for unemployed residents entering the state's job training programs. The Department of Workforce Development will start testing applicants for illegal drugs under a state law that was passed earlier this year. Anyone who fails a drug test will be referred to drug abuse counseling. The St. Thomas More Fun Days are going on this weekend. St. Thomas More is located on Calumet Avenue in Munster, where Fun Days will be going on until Saturday, Sunday the 26th. Take the kids over for wristbands Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday. Enjoy many rides, bingo, the infamous food court, and live entertainment in the Big Ten. There will be performers such as Rick Lindy and the Wild Ones, the New Invaders, Dick Diamond and the Dusters, and History's End. And on Sunday afternoon, meet Chicago Bears' Dan Hampton. Hammond City Councilman Kathleen Pasalik is resting in Chicago Hospital after surgery on a brain aneurysm. Pasalik was taken by Hammond firefighters to a local hospital before being airlifted to Chicago late Tuesday night with an aneurysm that had hemorrhaged in her brain. Pasalik has been on the City Council for several terms and is a high school teacher in Hammond. Now to Jordan for I am Jordan Beasley oh. here for your sports update. Hippies Night was a success last night as the Real Cats celebrated the love and peace movement with a 5 to nothing shutout over the Fargo-Moorhead Redhawks. The Real Cats scored five runs on eight hits and one error. The Real Cats will be back in action today at 11.10 a.m. as they look for the series sweep of the Redhawks. The Gary Ball Club comes in with a respectable 22-17 record, a 14-5 home record, and an impressive five-game winning streak. Well, the White Sox win yet another one-run game as they take two out of three from the Cubs, winning by a score of four to three. An unearned run was the difference in the game as Blake DeWitt made a costly error. Jake Peavy was the beneficiary as he picks up his third win of the season to improve to three and one. Doug Davis takes the loss to drop to one and six, and Sergio Santos nails it down for his 14th save of the season. Both the Cubs and the White Sox will enjoy an off day today before the Cubs hit the road to face the struggling Kansas City Royals and the White Sox play host to the Red Hot Washington Nationals. And also, guys, don't forget to visit our YouTube channel at www.youtube.com slash video WJOB. For Jeannie Delo, I am Jordan Beasley, and that is your sports and news update.